you know, Ray, you mentioned the uh, being in a comfort zone and it's crazy that <clears throat> your comfort zone was exactly what you just mentioned, like being in its places, carrying guns, doing whatever you did. That was your comfort zone. And I hate to bring up Bezos again, but when he was on the podcast before, he talked about, I don't know if it's like every month or every whatever uh, 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 like amount of time, he does some weird, different thing. That Six maybe week challenge six week challenges, right? He does things that he's never done before. And that really like, that really got me thinking because, you know, as adults, there are certain things that you've done for a long time. Like for me, I've lifted since I was 13. So certain things when it comes to fitness aren't difficult for me, but then certain things when it comes to business are difficult for me. Yes. You know what I mean? And it's just like, for you yourself, you, you, you said that it's, it was, you know, it's been 48 years and sales is now the hardest thing for you. So when you're dealing with adults, right? who they're in their comfort zone, they're doing really, really well at something, but they find it so difficult to move and do other things at that same level. What is it that you try to help them do? Well, I just try to have people realize that, you know, just because you're really fucking good at something, it doesn't mean that's your only calling, right? I think people have passion and purpose. I always tell people what, you know, like I've met people that make six, seven, and eight figures, but there's no passion, there's no fire, there's no spark. And I've asked people like, you know, what, what, what lights your fire? What, what blows your skirt up? What gets you, you know, what, what gets you going? And, and I've had some of my clients say, I oh, know it's stupid, you're not gonna believe. I had one guy who wanted to write, write children's novels. And he's not like some freak or anything, but he's, you know, he's worth like $20 million. I'm like, well, fucking write a novel, you see it. But what if people don't like it? You're not gonna know, you're never, you're never going to grow unless you know. I want to make sure people understand that. You're never going to grow unless you know. You need to know what you're capable of, right? Um, I, do, I do T-shirts now. My, my business conquer. I was like, oh, shit, I don't know, man. I don't know if this is cheesy. Seven points of performance to, to master you. Let's try it. Take it off, right? But that's what I tell people. Find out what makes you, what's your passion. Now, there are some people that are like, you know, Drinking bros, they got a podcast, they, that, that's their dream in life, they want to do it, hey great, you found your purpose and passion, now find a way to expand on that and, and help other people out. Yeah, but if you, if you just get up and you're going through life with the blinders on, right, and it doesn't matter if you're making minimum wage or you're making millions of dollars, being miserable is being miserable. Just, if you have more fucking money, you just have more money and you're just like, maybe, maybe more miserable, right? Some of the most miserable people I've met are, are rich. You know, yeah. maybe one day I'll have to deal with that. I remember I joked with Tom Hanks. He's like, man, you don't, you don't want to deal with the, the shit I have. Bring it on, Tom. Give it to me. Let me try. <laughs> I'll tack that hill. You know, pay me $10 million for fucking <laughs> Captain Phillips. I was, I was a little part. I got a little bit of money. Come on, bring it. Um, what would I tell people is, is if it's not passionate enough, then, and it's all about transitioning, right? Transitioning, right? When you go into a room, you have to have your fields of fire. I'm not telling people by any means, quit your fucking job and go write a children's book. I'm saying find a way, right? Find outs. We call them doors when you're, when you're, when you're working, right? Find avenues of out like me, t-shirt business. It's residual income. Find other ways that once you start, right? This is the money you're making. If you're starting to do this and you really love the passion, figure out the want versus the need, right? All right. I need to make X amount of dollars for my family. I want, right? That's the problem. Everybody focuses on the want. You need to focus on the need, the necessities. I need this. Once you figure out how you can do that, I would rather lose money doing the passion that I love, just making bills meet because it's going to give me a better attitude and perspective on life. And we've done that. Um, I worked less. I mean, I make more now, but I work more. I worked less and made, you know, to how much I was home, technically I made more money. And Bedros is like, you want to make more money? Yes, sir. Well, then let me teach you how to work harder. Okay. So, but I'm passionate about it because we're changing lives and that's what the project's about. Well, we're doing that every other month. We're fucking smoking people and we're making men better. So that's my way of giving back to the community right now. So many people are going to be listening to this. They're going to be so inspired. They're going to be fired up, but everybody here, uh, we all understand that 99.9% .9 of everybody that is excited right now isn't going to do shit with all this motivation. Mm -hmm. How can somebody who is 
listening to this right now, they're currently like, dude, I'm, I like what he's putting down. Like I, I'm getting very motivated. Yep. How can this person take the next step to use that motivation to actually uh, do something with all this uh, encouragement? Fucking, that's a great fucking question, man. I'll tell you exactly what you do. Every morning that I get up, I attack my four F bombs. I fucking write down right here. And I can't make this shit up if I tried. I come up with one goal in each one of those I'm going to do. Like family, fitness, finance, and faith. Family. Like it's as simple as, hey, because I'm all about, remember, stacking the W's, right? Stacking the W's. The more W's to stack, the better you're going to feel. I'm going to make sure I tell my wife and daughter I love her every fucking day. Boom. That's family. Fitness. Already got one in. I'm going to get two in. Finances. As soon as I get off with you, I, clo- I closed a $12,000 deal before I got on with you guys. I'm going to close another one today. Faith. That's the first thing. That's why I put family at the top and faith at the bottom. Faith every morning I get up. Be great today. Be a bitch tomorrow. Nyla, what are you? I'm a champion. I'm a winner. Baby, what are you? She says, I'm, I'm the greatest woman in the world. She just, that's her thing right? Just accomplish that. And then once you do that, remember how we talked about it's addictive? Then fucking write another one and 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 another one one. until the fact that you're like literally so fucking um, in tune with yourself that you can start making instead of daily ones. Okay, now let's let's do a weekly one. By this week, I want to make sure I get five miles in. Great. I want to make sure that um, I take my daughter to get ice cream twice a week. Right. Every Wednesday, date night with my wife, boom, once a month. What are you going to do? Okay, I'm going to make sure that I, and it just, you just keep expanding, right? There's no, you're going to have highs and lows. There's no such thing as perfection, just progression. Are you going to take steps back? Yeah. Are there going to be bad days? Yeah. Are you going to fucking want to give up? Yeah. Do you? No, you just keep fucking driving. And And what you need to keep just saying is, is I'm alive. That's what I tell whenever shit, it could be worse. I could be dead, right? I look in the mirror, all my fucking teeth are fake. Yeah, okay, hey, I, I looked like this before. I've been fucking blown up before. I've been fucking shot at before. I've been fucking cheated on. I mean, it can always be worse. You know, first thing I told my wife, my opening line when I met my wife, seriously, she said, you're the shortest fucking guy I've ever went out with. <laughs> Fuck you. But this is what she, I told her. When I was trying to win over, <laughs> you could do better, but you could do worse. <laughs> She's like, what? I'm like, well, let's just start it in like a C, a C, and then hopefully I can get in there. And look at me, you know, fucking 17 years later, man, I'm still grinding. But my point is, is I tell people, that's what, remember I just said you could always do better, but you could do worse. I always sign off with do more, do less, just do. It's the same thing applies. When I do my 1,080 push-ups, people are like, I can't do 1,080 push-ups. What the fuck? It's not a dick measuring contest, motherfuckers. All I want you to do is do what you can on the minute. Now, we've got people in here like Mark that are super smart with, with fitness. The goal is, is you, you, you train for 15 to 20 seconds of time under tension, time under load, so you have the 40 seconds to rest for the lactic acid buildup, right, while I'm moving, if we want to get scientific. But all it is is put out for 15 or 20 seconds and then do it again and again and again and again. And then once you get good at that number, do it more and more. That's the best advice I could tell people is join me on Sundays for my 1,080 push-ups, my 1,080 squats, or my 1,080 whatever the fuck I do, because I'm up to 1,080 now, where well, I can't do that. doesn't matter. I, I'm motivating more women and children than anything right now. I love it. So my point is, is, and you've got so much more in you, no matter who you are, but it all starts from taking that initial step. And you're never, again, I'm going to full circle it. You're never going to grow unless you know. You need to know what your limitations are. You need to know when you're going to fucking redline and you're going to know, you need to know when you're going to fail. And if you're not failing, then you're not pushing yourself hard enough because you need to fail. I fail every day, every fucking day. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to continue to fail. I'm never going to have a perfect day. There's no such thing as a perfect day. I go days where I don't make sales. I'll make two sales. on People are like, you can't make a sale on Friday. Bitch, last two weeks, I made two sales on Friday. Don't tell me what I can't do. Just tell me what needs to be done, and I will do it, and I will find a way. And that's what each and every one of you need to find. And what works for me might, might not work for you, Mark, or it might not work for you. It's just you've got to figure out what you bring to the table. Surround yourself with great fucking human beings that have other things, right? Like business. I'm never going to out business Pedro's. 
Like I'll ask him a question. I'm like, Hey, I have an idea. And he's like, okay. <laughs> you know, cause he's already thought of that a hundred fucking times, but Hey, he's the kind of boss where I can just, if I have an idea, I ask him, like I can ask Mark questions about fitness and he's like, and, and a good leader is like, motherfucker, you don't think I thought about that? But most people be like, Hey Ray, that's a great idea. Let me tell you why we're not going to go with that. Thank you. Right. That's how people are going to be better. Surround yourself with people that are fucking awesome and you will become awesome. If you surround yourself in a room full of fucking turds, you're going to become a turd.